This program is a part of a series of studies that our Pastor Gion has prepared for you. Welcome to Victory Church Odessa. Our goal is to exalt the name of our Lord Jesus and to encourage you to develop more faith by reflecting on the Bible. We hope you will enjoy this program. Now let me introduce you to our Pastor Gion. Gospel Parallels, episode 51, November 1st, 2023. This is the Bible study with Victory Church, Odessa. And I am Gian, the founding pastor of this church here in Odessa, Texas. I say hello to you. This episode is dedicated to the memory of a good friend, Mike Riley. Mike was a great friend for us here in the church. He is with the Lord but still, I remember him, especially those presents that he gave us one, one Christmas, some blankets. <laughs> Blessings to everybody in the family, Brandy and the kids. And this is episode 51. Last week, we talked about making promises. And this week, we're going to talk about retaliation. The readings comes from the easy to read version we read in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Please, Lord, guide us through this study. Amen. Please, Jeho, put the screen, the scriptures on the screen. Thank you so much. Matthew 5, 38, 42. You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I tell you, don't fight back against someone who wants to do harm to you. If they hit you on the right cheek, let him, let them hit the other cheek too. If anyone wants to sue you in court and take your shirt, let them have your coat too. If a soldier forced you to, to walk with him one mile, go with him too. Give to anyone who asks you for something. Don't refuse to give to anyone who wants to borrow from you. Luke 6, 29, 33. If someone hits you on the side of your face, let him hit the other side too. If someone takes your coat, don't stop them from taking your shirt too. Give to everyone who asks you for something. When someone takes something that is yours, don't ask for it back. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Exodus 21, 24 and Leviticus 24, 20. That is what happens with humans without the gospel of our Lord Jesus. It was the law. If you are a believer, these scriptures, Exodus 21, 24 and Leviticus 24, 20, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth doesn't apply to you. They don't. That is Old Testament, pure, I'm sorry, pure Old Testament laws. It's not what the Lord wants us to do. Now, I want to tell you this. It's normal when someone does something wrong to you that you feel the desire of vengeance. But revenge feels good immediately. However, later you will feel bad about it. And you know it. You are a believer. You know that every time you retaliate, or you are vindictive, <clears throat> you, you are going to feel bad about it later, right? So today I want to share with you an intelligent interpretation of what the Lord Jesus said about this. Okay. First of all, I want you to understand something very, very important. As a believer, you are not going to be without any defense. You as a believer... You, you are entitled to the protection of God. And, and He will do things for you like you don't even imagine what, what are the things that He will do. Now, that doesn't mean that you are going to be dumb. No, 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 no. In fact, the Lord Jesus wants you to be smart about this. That's why I'm, I want to give you intelligent ways that you can operate in the midst of trouble, particularly when someone is being unfair with you or trying to uh, take stuff from you or hurt you or, you know, the normal offenses that will 
make you feel the desire to retaliate. And the first thing to do is do not fight back. Somebody offends you, somebody disrespects you. And the first instance you have is to fight back. The Lord Jesus says, don't do that. Because anger is not a good friend. You know what happens. You become angry and then you start retaliating. You will regret it later. The Lord Jesus said here something about if you go to court. What is what we have learned already? Teachings from the Lord Jesus. He already told us that we need to stop legal battles as soon as possible. Try to reconciliate, to come to some agreements. So basically, the, the idea here is that whenever you see that these things are going to go out of control, because if somebody is taking you to court, it's because that person feels you did something wrong. So in, in all case, in, in any situation that there are legal battles, the, the first thing is if you keep calm and you don't fight back, if you don't retaliate, you will have a great possibility to reconcile and to stop the legal battle. The Lord will help you if you act intelligent. Now, the Lord said here something about a soldier to forcing you to walk a mile. You know, the, the meaning of the soldier is the meaning of the law. It's, it's about serving your country. Serving your country, serving your community. Well, as a believer, you are supposed to serve. So what is the big deal? The thing is, people don't like to serve. A, a very good interpretation to this is that in any context, when legally somebody is taking you to do more than you expected, that you were hoping to do, but it's work, right? Or whatever, do it and do it with pleasure. You see, this, this passage is not about being dumb. This passage is not just about letting anybody to do whatever they want with you. No, first the, the first context is about the court, <laughs> legal battles. The second context is, is about uh, military forces, the country. You understand? And now the other context is, is about someone that whether it's taking something or asking something that they can borrow from you. If you have something, this is what the Lord says. If you have something that somebody needs, Give me a reason why you will not go into giving. The, the whole idea the Lord is, is trying to share with us here in this teaching. It, it's about understanding that there are contexts, legal contexts, court, government. You, you have to be smart about it. If you keep calm, if you are not retaliating, because let's face it, for example, in the workplace, sometimes there are some, some things that are done in the wrong way and, and, and employees feel awful about it because of the supervisor or uh, policies and all that. Well, but if you are in a context when you have to be compliant, that's what the Lord says. Be compliant. Don't, don't be fighting with everybody. Don't, don't retaliate. Don't do that because when you do that, you are going to lose. It's going to cost you more. Not just the shirt, but the coat. This is what he is saying. And when it's about interaction with people that are asking you for something that they, that they need, if they need it and you have it, why not? You see, when you are a true believer and you trust in the Lord, and you know that he will defend you. Think about this. Things are not going just to happen to you randomly, just because. In all those things that you live, there is a purpose. And do you know what's the purpose in all those things? Is to show your true character. Your true character. So stop fighting with people. 
in, in, in let's make this clear. When there is structure, legal structure, workplace or legalities, the court, the government, you have to be compliant. You have to work with those people. Don't fight. It's, it's unnecessary. Keep, keep calm. If you lose your cool, you're going to lose. And finally, in all your relationships, you know that there are people that are going to take advantage of you. How many times you, you have done that before? Somebody asked you for this, you gave those things to them, and they never gave it back. So you already know, but that's what the Lord Jesus said. I have a friend that uh, explained to me one day a great policy he follows. He says that whenever somebody comes and asks for something, he, he stops for a second and, and evaluates if that thing that they are asking, he has it or not. And, and if it's available, he will give it to them. He says, of course, there are some, some occasions where he says, if they are asking me for something that is vital for me, I, I cannot do that, but I can find a way to help. And that is the right attitude. Becoming reasonable, becoming smart about things is what will make the difference in your life, my friend. It's a simple lesson. Apply it. That's all. Apply it. You don't need to be dumb around people in your workplace with the government or with legalities. No, you have to be smart. Think about it, my friend. See you next week. Victory Radio is now available 24-7. Visit our website, www.victoryradio.us. Great music, positive messages, optimism to keep you company while you work, or when you drive, or when you are at home cooking. Faith is what you need. Faith comes when you hear the right thing. Victory Radio is the new thing. Find us on the website, www.victoryradio.us. Have a great rest of your day. If you own a Roku TV, a Roku TV device, an Apple TV device, or own a Fire Stick, we invite you to install the Geon TV app. With the Geon TV app installed on your TV, you will be able to watch all the videos from the comfort of your home and be inspired with our programs. Enjoy music, inspirational videos, Bible teachings, and beautiful videos that will keep your tank of faith full all the time at the touch of a button. Remember G on TV. Receive the inspiration to achieve your calling in life. By G and Carlo Vichitoro. I know you have suffered, but what if you would have never met your mom because she died giving birth to you? That's the beginning of Simon's story. Then Simon's father died when he was only 15 years old. He was sent to a foster home where he was bullied, humiliated, and there was no one to protect him. But Simon decided to find a way to get his revenge by studying and becoming good at sports. He won a scholarship, and soon he started his own business, Simon Yardwork. Mean people were envious of his success, but one day, Simon met and fell in love with Jackie. They were happy, until the FBI arrested Simon due to clues that incriminated him with several murdered people. Will Simon end up in prison? Don't miss the outcome of this story, The Best Revenge, the musical that will inspire everyone to pay good for evil. Go to mygiancarlo.com to purchase The Best Revenge on audio and video. Welcome to this website, MyNewMentor.com. Here you will find the tools to establish a direct communication with your new mentor, Gian. Get the available spot on Gian's schedule and set your appointment to have an audio or video call via Skype with Gian. Do you like new movies, new books, new music? Go to MyGianCarlo.com. There is a new album, Adore, 10 songs. I wrote the songs and I sing those songs with a wonderful band of musicians and singers. If you sign up in mygiancarlo.com, 
I will give you one song for free. Take advantage of this free song and enjoy this wonderful production. The blessings of God are going to come to you when you are listening to the right thing, God's Word. You can find us in all of these platforms. Search for Gian TV on Apple TV, Roku TV, and Fire TV. Do you prefer a podcast? Find us too. And remember Victory Radio 24-7. The kingdom of God is near. Thank you for investing time with Victory Church Odessa. Feel free to subscribe to our channel here on this platform. Also, you can go to our website, vchurch.us, to connect with the rest of the platforms where you can follow us. Our address is 2400 West 81st Street, Odessa, Texas, 79764. Our Sunday worship service begins at 10 a.m. Our phone number is 432-614-9798. Our email address is info at vchurch.us. Feel free to share this program with your family and friends. Until next time, we wish you a wonderful rest of your day. Many blessings in the name of our Lord Jesus.